How you doing guys? Hope you're well today. Um, today I'm gonna I'm gonna take a little trip. Uh, I'm gonna go up and have a look around Rich, Richie and Maybell's coffee shop. Um, I, I went to go there on Monday, but uh, unfortunately they closed on Monday, so I didn't realise that. So uh, I'll take a little spin out there this afternoon and see what the crack is. And um, then, I don't know if you heard, but officially apparently that the bars are opening today, Oct Friday, October 1st here in Phuket. So uh, I might take a spin up around uh, Bangla Road, around that sort of area, maybe, or, or if I stay in the area, I mean, just have a look around the bars, see what the crack is, see how they open. I did hear some music last night, so uh, live music. So it, it, and I, I seen some guy playing in one of the restaurants. So uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to expect, but we'll find out soon enough anyway. Also, just before I, I move on, uh, there's a couple of people asking about this hotel. They wanted to know about you know have a look at the outside of the hotel, the the, the breakfast area. Um, there's a bar out front as well, and uh, the gym and whatnot. So what I'll do is I'll do that over the weekend at some stage, just uh, just for you lads, so you can have a look. Because I know there's a couple of people thinking about booking here. So uh, look, we'll, we'll 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 leave it at that for now, and uh, we'll carry on on today's little journey. So we'll chat to you soon. All right, guys, what I did was I came on out to Richie and Maybelline's, uh, Maybell's. I keep saying Maybelline. I don't know where I get this. It's actually beautiful. It's very quiet. Um, I got my taxi out. Uh, it was 300 baht from the centre of Patan, which is not bad. wasn't wasn't uh, not expensive at all, really. I just wanted to come out just to have a coffee here in the afternoon. Richie and Maybell are actually not here yet, uh, or they're not here today. I'm not quite sure, and it's very very quiet. But but I uh, just thought I'd do a little. Uh, maybe I'll come back. I'm not sure this is their house because I shouldn't be showing you that. Uh, the girl was telling me it's their house, but it's absolutely beautiful here. It's uh, Maybell's coffee shop, I think they call it. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. It is a lovely place. It's sad to see there's not too many customers, you know. It is sad to see that. But um, it's like a lovely spot all the same. I'm just going to grab myself a nice toasted sandwich. And uh, yeah, some of the scenery around here. It's not out of the way. It's, it's kind of, how can I describe how you get here? You're coming out from Patong out to Qatar. And as you're coming out the main road, um, I don't know, maybe it's, uh, it's a fair few mile out and then when you get to Qatar then uh, there's a, it's a small turning to the right and you just turn off and it bring you down here uh, and literally it's only five minutes or 20 meters down the road from uh, actually I'll show you I'll show you now where the main road is I'll just nip out and show you it is uh, just there I don't know if you can see the poles at the end there that is the main road so yeah 20 meters 20 meters but it's a lovely little spot now I have to say I'm kind of sorry, you know, you know, I kind of feel it'd be nice if there was a few more people. But uh, what can you do? It is what it is. Probably everybody's probably at bars today because they're open. But, uh, yep, I'll just have a little look inside. As I say, I've ordered myself a, a toasted sandwich. And this is the girl who's going, what's your name? Ju. Ju. This is Ju. She'll be here. She'll, she'll look after you when you get here. So you'll all, you'll all be good. And uh, yeah, they have a nice selection, nice selection of beers, some water, with chang, coconuts, some lovely cakes. And I'm uh, not sure what they are, but they look nice, frozen sort of things. And they have their little cooking area out there, which I won't go into. So I'll leave you to what she's doing. She's doing my cappuccino for me. And uh, we'll just have a look around and show you around here. Now, if I... Uh, if Richie or Maybell come to come down, I'll say hi to them. Um, I didn't get fairness to them. I didn't give them any warning. I spoke to Richie, I think on YouTube a few weeks ago, or on I commented saying I would pop in, but I gave them zero warning. Oh look, there's a nice touch as well, nice hammock. Um, I gave them zero warning that I was coming today. I just came off the top of my head. Now one thing I did not realise about Richie, and I'm guessing by the look of all of these books, is he's a Manchester United fan. Yes, he's definitely a Manchester United fan, looking at all these books. Now, there's a book I'd like to read, Mickey Thomas. I might come back here in the next week and have a look at that and start reading that. Uh, for today, I'm just going to enjoy my sandwich. And uh, yeah, uh, that's it, Strachan. Oh, he's got Strachan's story as well there. And Roy Keane's book, which is good. I've read it myself. So yeah, if you just wanted to while away an afternoon, this would be the place to come. 
and here's my coffee now thanks to Jew cocoon cap so I am going to tuck into my coffee here now and uh, we will wait for my sandwich all right guys this is my little sandwich that I got um, 150 baht and I got myself a lovely cappuccino uh, Jew prepared my cappuccino and Zach over here who's very shy do you want to say hello, hello. <laughs> he prepared my, my, my sandwich I've actually hidden some of it I've taken a bite of it and it's absolutely delicious so you would say to everyone to come to Maybell's coffee shop yes for lunch yes sir. and there you go and Richie's a good boss yes sir there you go so there you go you heard it from the horse's mouth so to speak so he's a happy man cocoon cap Zach thank you so much right guys it's the middle of the afternoon now um, I went in and had a couple of beers up there in uh, Sea Dragon uh, I'm gonna get home from my show now it's the middle of the afternoon it's the 1st of October um, the bars officially are open although I do notice everybody's still drinking our cups I don't know what the crack is at that but the bars are open uh, it's definitely if you're coming to Phuket uh, you can probably see already just on the footage here as I'm walking down uh, selfies are being taken there's no shortage of people knocking about I'm gonna go home and have myself a shower anyway <laughs> girls are modeling I'm gonna go home and have a shower myself uh, I might come back out later just have a couple of beers just to see what the crack is with uh, you know the evening time around these parts I'm not 100% certain what what way it's gonna be but uh, definitely I think it's about four o'clock in the afternoon so it definitely seems lightening up um, I have a fair feeling Bangalore Road is gonna be very busy tonight so the cab girls can you say hello <laughs> oh. not a loud video apparently but it's not a live stream anyway so it's okay um, there's always it's it's strange you, you you normally get about 10 girls on a wave at you and one he's like oh cannot cannot but uh this is life there's a guy doing some filming himself so he's doing well so what i'll do is i'll just walk to the end of bangalore road here and i'll end this one buddy cap and uh i'll end this one now um i might try and do a bit of filming later i don't know if they'll allow me to probably give out to me i don't like filming people anyway to be honest with you it's just to give people a, a, a bit of a a feeling of what uh what it's like here on the day that the bar is open um definitely up bangla road there now that's as lively as i've seen it since i've been here uh so if any of you are thinking of coming to phuket you can see there's a lot of the the, the ladies are working there's tons of them if that's your thing uh yeah get your arse down to phuket uh yeah that's about it now all i can say i'll get back to you later have fun so for some reason i'm not quite sure why but every time man as we walk up uh Bangalore road every time man is in checking this out but uh that's up to them block me so, okay thank you man we leave them out of every man as we walked up was checking out the house i shouldn't say that on youtube but now we're on uh, Bangla Road, October 1st. I said I'd walk up it on the, on the night that was. So uh, that's pretty much what I'm doing. One, one more song. I'm going to walk up it. I'm going to turn around. I'm going to end the video. And I'm going to go in for a beer myself. I promised one of the girls up here that I'll actually go in and have some food. I've been promising all week. Uh, it's about time I delivered in that promise. So uh, I'm going to do that great to see this place open because i've not been in here before uh dublin irish rover wow i'm coming i'm coming i know you too walk up and down so as you can see uh God is God. as you can see life seems to be returning to normal here on bangor road it's uh yeah it's pretty much looking quite good i'm looking forward to my next hour or two up to these parts um it literally is my next hour or two uh because i didn't i went home and had a shower and done money to do so uh 
Anyway, look, lads, I just said I'd give you a look at night time. I know uh, to one of my subscribers who I've met in the Hacienda before, uh, to a Tara. <laughs> Hope I got that one right, to a Tara. New Zealand lad. He had said to me yesterday, where's the girls? So, uh, yeah, they are here now. They've, they've only returned today. So, I mean, that's all. This is only, I can only show you what's returned today. To me, it seems like uh, Thailand is getting back to a little bit more normal. Um, I know the beer bars at the back here aren't open. Actually, one of them is, but it's getting back to a little bit. It's only a small bit of normality. Literally, um, you know, I'll turn back around. I'll come back up. Oh, sorry, guys. I'll turn back around. I'm gonna go down and have a have a beer myself in the Irish place. Right, I'm Irish, so it'd be rude not to. Um, and uh, yeah, head home and edit this video and do what I need to do. So look, Thailand to me, I won't say Thailand. I'd say Phuket seems to be getting back to normal. I'll wait till I see uh, when I head back up to Bangkok next week, what way that's gonna work, and uh, Pattaya and Chambri. And you might not see that much of me once I get up there because I'll be back in my loving arms of Tammy. But uh, we'll work on that once time comes along. So, uh, yeah, I suppose this is it. This is me tuning out for the night. Saying goodnight. Say, oh, hello. Saying goodnight. <laughs> Pat would have lots of words for that type of thing. But uh, I'm not going to say them. Uh, <laughs> so look. Life seems to be slowly, slowly, slowly getting back to normality. Just a little bit. The YouTubers with their phones. I got a GoPro, so I'm good. You've got uh, Dublin there. You've got girls over this side. You've got a cab. My old cap, my old cap, you can't cap. Um, and there's something before I end to the video. Before I end this video. Um, something that I've learned, I've been told before, but I've only kind of, it's only kind of registered in my head recently. The easiest words to say when you're walking past people and they want you to buy something and you don't want to buy it. Yeah, you just say, no, thank you. But in Thai, which I've only learned, oh, lemon tree. In Thai, to say, no, thank you, you just say, my old cat, the tune cat. So I'll repeat that once more, in my Thai lesson. I'm loving this song. My old cap, cocoon cap. Good night, guys. Toodles. I'm off to enjoy my night. Chat to you all again soon.